I'm your host, Jordan Cunningham, and I'm taking you off court with Thomas Glover. What's up, Thomas? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so what high school do you attend? Hill House High School. Hill House, okay. And you play for Hill House doing basketball, is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So you're a good basketball player, very athletic. Why play for Hill House and not another high school? I mean, all right. So everybody knows I started off at career. Yeah. Did two years there and transferred. I, I didn't know that. Well, yeah, that's what happened. Now I did know. two years there and I transferred. <laughs> so my brother, you know, the COVID year, mm. he didn't play for nobody. So his senior year, he was like, me and him was talking. Yo, we can play with each other. Because you always want to play with your older brother. Definitely. So I was a sophomore. He was a senior. By the time he went and picked the school, it was too late for me to transfer, mm. and we couldn't get him in the career. So it was like, oh, shoot, he going to Hill House. So, like, when I seen that happen, I just seen, like, the stage he played on. Yeah. All the nicknames they gave him. You know, you, mm. you always want to be around yeah. for the nicknames. Yeah. You feel me? So that happened. And then I came up to the last playoff game. They got knocked over by Ridgefield. And the next thing you know, I said, it's on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotta, I got to get back for Big Bro. Yeah. You gotta so. get, did you get back? Yeah. I, so I'm you getting back. That? Oh, I'm handling it okay. right now as we speak. That. All right, we ain't gonna speak too much on that. You know, keep your plan to yourself. Yeah, but we know it's coming. Yeah, let them know it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, did you like playing that career? It was. It was. It was. It was interesting. You know, I played for Larry Kelly. Okay, he ain't the most level-headed coach yeah. in America. So <laughs> that was crazy. That's deep. Yeah. That's deep. Now I play for Top Dog. Yeah. So. Top Dog. <laughs> I mean, shoot. What's the difference between playing for career versus playing for Hill House? Uh, like, what's the first thing you notice differently when you talent? Play? It was talent. Mean? Oh, like we were like Hill House is a more skilled, bigger school, so yeah. like we got more talent, and we're able to take kids from outside. Okay. So, no shade to career. Like, I, my dog still we love, love career. Yeah, yeah, we love career. But the fact that we couldn't get other kids to come in and nobody wants to come in, yeah, it's like now you're just working with what you could work with. Okay, I hear you. What are the feelings when you put your jersey on and you jump on the court? I feel like the feelings changed for me, though, like yeah. throughout the years. You know, freshman year was like, oh, shoot, I'm varsity. I'm, I'm a guy. Like, Ooh, you feel me? Freshman year. So now you got to go. I didn't play my sophomore year due to me breaking my ankle. Uh -huh. And then junior year was like, now I'm at a bigger stage. Everybody depending on me. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that was just like. And then on top of that, I played with people that I grew up with. Yeah. It was like this day seniors, they could class above me so it was just like might be my last time playing with them so yeah. I try to leave it all on the floor throughout that whole season now you recently just reached 1,000 points yeah so Mr. 1k tell me what what was the build-up to that how did you get to that 1,000 points 1,000 was just 1,000 you know this is just me hooping on my life and me just being able to score so I mean I, I was pushed to it but it just came I never really like was my set goal coming yeah. in high school okay so Basically, it was regular, like, yeah, just out there hooping, you reached the 1K. All right, man, all right, so what motivates you to do your best work? Just to, just to be able to come back and say, yo, I did something. I am somebody. Because you don't ever want to do something and, and be nobody when you do it. You always want to be somebody, you know? Okay. What does your dream life look like? Probably, I wouldn't, I'm not going to get over, like, I'm not going to over... Do your thing, Reach, Brody. Feel me? But Do your thing, Brody. The like dream overseas, life. probably. Overseas? Overseas basketball. Overseas basketball. Yeah, yeah. Okay. NBA is just like, you got to be real with yourself sometimes. But What do you mean by that? You got to be real with yourself. You got to be real with yourself. Don't 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 hype yourself up. Be don't get me wrong. Better on yourself, bro. Better on yeah, yourself. Better on yourself. But be, you, be you, realistic, you're, too. Okay, you're more realistic. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I like to be real okay. with everybody. Okay, so basically saying, like, if you don't, like, hit the NBA, you definitely go overseas. Yeah, yeah, overseas would be the okay. next look. All right. What features do you find in yourself that's the most valuable? Features as in what? Like, anything, like, uh, the way you converse with people, the way you act. Like, what's something that stands out in you? I mean, people will tell you that I'm not so laid back. I'm a, I got a loud personality. Mm -hmm. I play around a lot. Yeah. I mean, because you don't want to go through a lot of things just dead serious in life. That's going to be boring. Definitely. One, keep jokes around. Keep your friends around. That's that's what I like to do. Yeah. So keep on, keep the positive attitudes. Okay. So where does, like, the joking personality come from? Now, my mom, yeah. she got jokes for days. So <laughs> <laughs> if she sees this Deborah, she got jokes. Yeah. My dad, big time, he he just a more outgoing talking dude. Okay. But 
he don't really got well, he got jokes, but it ain't like my mom's. Yeah. Right? So you basically saying my deuce is funnier than yeah, Pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely, oh, definitely. Okay, how you think he gonna react when he watch this? <laughs> See that you saying that. I already mom. know he gonna say, <laughs> Man, I've been funnier than your mom's. <laughs> ain't funnier than nobody. Yeah, okay. <laughs> What's something you wish adults understood about kids? That shoot. A kid that's an athlete, I would want like adults to understand like like they give us a lot of responsibilities, but I want like I would hope that they understand like the pressures that we're still dealing with, even without them. Mm. Like, don't take it like as if oh, it's just a sport because to y'all it's just a sport, but to us it means a whole lot more. So you basically just like you want them to come see what yeah what you about and what you got to deal with. Like, exactly. Like yeah, I know I got other things to tend to, but in the day I'm an athlete. You know, this, this matters this possibly to me. gonna be my life. Yeah, it matters to me. Yeah. Okay. Now. What is one great opportunity that you had in your life that you're grateful for? Shoot, being able to come back from my ankle injury. Mm. How how my ankle looked, you wouldn't even think I'd be able to do half the things I do. Yeah. All right, let's dive into that. How did the ankle injury come about? You know, being a 15-year-old kid, I was playing around the gym. Mm. Came down to somebody's foot, my ankle just popped. And I think they said I dislocated, I broke two bones and fractured five bones in my foot. Yeah. That happened at Eastlands? Nah, it's happened at Career. Career. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Dang. I had to sit out. So when I was coming back, I was like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be that good no more. Mm. I'm not going to jump the scene. But after a little bit of work, you know, you get the injury thoughts. That's yeah. what I call it, the injury thoughts. After a little work, you know, I was jumping higher than what I was before. I got to put on a lot more weight. And I had to be able to adjust to it. Okay. And now, it helped me in the long run. What were you doing to get through your injury? A lot of physical therapy. And a lot of... I had to still lift to keep the body fat because I couldn't, I couldn't run or walk for mm-hmm. real. Keep the body fat from going anywhere. Okay. Like, I didn't want to gain too much weight, so I had to lift. Uh, physical therapy had me in boots for like a month and a yeah. half. It was crazy. What kind of workouts were you doing by yourself with your ankle? Uh, so a lot of people that know me know that I don't really use a lot of weight with yeah. my legs because it's just like I don't like to, so I do a lot of, uh, what's the word? What's the word? Pub. Man, right, I just don't use weights. All right, that's all you got to do. Like that. No yeah, weights. I don't use no weights. Yeah. So I do a lot of bunk, like box jumps, tire okay. jumps, just like running up hills. It's okay. just like I don't like the weight. Yeah. So when you got that boot off, were you like nervous to jump again? Like, Oh, no. Nah, I, I got my boot off. I think I ran out the office. I ran out the office because we had a game that night, yeah. my sophomore year. So I played the last two games. The day I got cleared is the day I went and played. You weren't nervous or nothing? Like, no, nah, I went out there and I got 20. 20? <laughs> yeah. Off oh, rip. How do you deal with conflict? I just take it. Like, I mean, coach is going to yell. Parents are going to heckle you. Fans is going to heckle you. Mm-hmm. Just sit there and take it. Okay. What, what they're going to say. They don't matter in this game. Yeah. You and your teammates do. You, your teammates, the other team in the ball. Okay. And then the refs. So say it's like a bigger conflict versus it's your team arguing with the other team. Do you mind your business or like? Listen, everybody on the team got they want hot head. I get my mans out of there. Yeah. And I go back in. Like, y'all don't do that. It's yeah. not what y'all want. Okay. Okay, so you you take a you take care of the loudmouth. As long as loudmouth going there, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Cause I know what to do to not get a tech. Okay. So and we can't afford no techs. No, nah, you can't. You cannot. Okay. Yeah. So you know how to play smart. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I see why you team captain. Who's the most important in your life right now, and why? I feel like I don't say this enough, but hey, I hope you don't see this. My older brother, man. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. You know he's going to play this clip back. Yeah, y'all. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's going okay. to be letting me hear it. Yeah. My older brother only two years older than me, too. Mm. So it's like he played a, a key role in my, my life. You know, Mom Dukes put us in all types of sports, baseball, football, basketball, and I, yeah. they always made me play up with my older brother. Yeah. So, so what makes him so important? Like, is it the conversations you have or is it just him being a big brother? It's just him being a big brother, and you just always wanted to be better than your big brother. Mm. So I feel like he pushed me without even being, like, knowing that he pushed me. Yeah to be, like, who I am today. Okay. Now, um, what is the most challenging part of your life right now? Most challenging, I would say, is being a team captain mm. and then also being a big brother. Wow. You know, because my little brother, he, I want him to be better than me. Yeah. But he wants to be better than me, but he just doesn't understand how. Yeah. And on top of that, he sees how I carry myself, and he wants to do it too. But I'm like, you be your own person, bro. Yeah. So, like, that's the hardest thing to, like, explain to him, okay. like, to be able to carry that over. Now, what's the conversation, like, with you and your little brother, like, when you really set him down and want him to understand things? Uh, I just tell him, don't make the mistakes me and your older brother did, bro. Like, go to, go to school, go to class, bro. Mm. Like, 
do what you got to do. Like, if you want to work out, let me know. We go work out. Yeah. Like, but outside of that, we playing one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to tell him, you sink, and I'm going to give him the ball on his chest, and we're going to check up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one-on-one yeah. one down, all three of us. And you cooking them, or are you like yeah, no, 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 they, they can't mess with me. They know they can't. <laughs> <laughs> they know they know okay. who real big bro is. How old is little bro? He's 14 now. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he on the way to dunking, but he ain't there yet. Nah. He swear he could dunk, but he okay. can't do it yet. You have a big family or a small one? I got a little family. I wouldn't, like, because... We don't really associate with a lot of people in my family because it's like if y'all don't want to talk, then I don't want to talk. Okay, and I've been that way. Yeah. So okay, I just fair. me, my mom, my brothers, okay. and my dad. Tell me a little bit about your family. Uh, shoot. Listen, none of my family play basketball. So yeah. for me and my brothers to play, like we're first generation. Mm. But my mom did tell me that. Yeah. My my late grandfather, he was nice. Yeah, he was nice. Yeah, but I don't believe it. But it's, it's all good. Nah, nah, it's all good. They you said he was nice. Yeah. I, I, Why don't you believe it? Uh, I ain't never seen no clip, no picture with him with a basketball, none of that. I ain't Shoot, at least every Hooper got a picture with them with a basketball, nah, or yeah, at least in a jersey. Yeah. Okay, all right. Or the picture she showed me, he in a button-up. <laughs> what he doing? He ain't, he ain't hooping. Not hooping. <laughs> he not hooping. Rapping, but you yeah, ain't hooping. Yeah, you ain't hooping, cuz. All right. What's your favorite thing to do with your family? I mean, we get little get-togethers, but, you know, I wouldn't even say, like, it's a get-together, like, something favorite to do. I would say it's more like the, you know, everybody in the house just come in the kitchen, you have one of them family talks. Okay. All those jokes. Yeah, yeah. Like, the those, unexpected things. Yeah, it's just, like, you can't mm -hmm. beat those. Those are the memories you're going to be able to talk about forever. Definitely. The best memories is always caught off camera. I agree. Now, um, we spoke on you going to college. What college do you have on your mind? If you right. could go to one, like... <laughs> If I wanted like my dream school. Dream school. Uh, it was crazy. I, I don't think I got one. No. But I would probably pick like something like Auburn, mm. off the fact of they like short guards. And I'm not Division One. I, I wouldn't be a big guard. I'd be yeah. a, a little guard. Okay, I hear you. Now, what would be your main focus in college? What What, what would I study? Yeah, yeah. What would you major in? Shoot. Right now, what I apply for is marketing. Mm. So that's different. I probably switch my major though. Okay. I don't know yet. But By marketing, like you, is there a plan you I'm got? I was good at math, so okay. <laughs> it was just like, it was a no-brainer okay. for me. Okay, okay. So. Are you thinking of owning a business? Yeah, actually, you know, I've been, I've been talking about that a lot, like, like to myself, though. Yeah. Like, is it like, to myself. do you know what you want to do, or just like, you just want a business? No, nah, I don't know what I want, want to do, but I feel like right now it'd be too early for me to understand. Okay. At the same time, because I still got to learn, like, the basics of owning yeah. the business, how to run it, how to manage everybody, but... Right now, yeah, that, that, that'd be a good goal for me Okay. outside of basketball. Yeah. Well, that was my last question. It's time to wrap it up. You know, <laughs> we covered a lot today. We talked about your family, talked about big bro saying you suck. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We talked about you. We talked about a lot, man. Well, Thomas, I want to thank you for this interview, man. Good luck on your trip with this basketball. And good luck, good luck tonight with Amity, man. Fifteen on, Between God. 15 Come and on. 20. Come on. I need it. You know that. All right. <laughs> Shout out to Goody. Come on. <laughs> Shout out Goody, man. Shout out Goody. Shout out Goody. Man. <laughs>